Hello and welcome. I'm Sylvia from My Kitchen Creations. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. On today's episode, we are making chicken and dumplings. This recipe is one of my family's favorite. It's super easy to put together, but full of flavor. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. For today's recipe, I am using chicken thighs with the skin on, and I'll show you why I have the skin on later on. So I did went and clean my chicken, I removed the extra fat. So now we are going to season our chicken with some black pepper, chicken bouillon, onion powder, garlic powder, and some Creole seasoning. Now go ahead and make sure that your chicken is well coated with the seasoning, just like so. Now grab your cast iron or your baking dish and we are going to place our chicken in here. So the reason I kept the skin on is because we are baking our chicken. I feel like it gives our chicken a better flavor than just throwing everything together without baking it or searing it. Just trust the process. I promise it will be delicious, guys. Now go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 Fahrenheit and we are going to bake our chicken for an hour. While our chicken is in the oven, we're going to mince our garlic. Next, we are going to chop our celery. Chop your baby carrots. Next, we're going to chop our onion. Last, we are going to peel and chop our potatoes. Just into chunks. Over medium heat in a large Dutch oven, I am going to add some oil. Add my veggies. Season with thyme, black pepper, and some chicken bouillon. Now add in your chicken broth. After adding in our broth, now we are going to add our chicken to it. So this is how my chicken is looking after an hour of baking. So what I'm going to do is go in and remove the chicken skin and the bones. And as you can see in the bottom, there's also some chicken broth that I will be keeping. So here is my chicken, guys. As you can see, I still have chunks in here, so they are not fully shredded, okay? And this is the skin and bones that I have. You can also use this to make your own chicken broth if you would like. Now we are going to add it to our veggies. Give that a stir. So now we are going to allow this to simmer for 20 minutes or until our potatoes are softened. While we wait for our veggies to soften, we are going to make a roux by adding some unsalted butter to our skillet. Add your onion. And we are going to cook our onion for 10 minutes. And we are cooking our onions over medium heat. After 10 minutes, we are going to add in our garlic. And we're just going to saute for another minute. After a minute, add in your flour. And we're just going to keep stirring this for another two minutes. So this is how our veggies are looking after 30 minutes of cooking. So now we're going to take some of the broth and add it to our roux. So here is our roux. This is how it's looking. That looks great. So what I'm going to do now is pour it back into our pot. So we're going to give this a stir and we're going to allow this to simmer while we get our biscuit ready. Now for our biscuit, I went and added some flour to a bowl. I'm going to add my baking powder, chicken bouillon, some parsley. Now give that a mix. Now go ahead and make a hole right in the middle and we are going to add our milk and melted butter. So go ahead and give that a good mix. 
As you can see, this is how my dough is looking. It is nice and sticky. So this is exactly what you're looking for. So now go in with your favorite cheese and give that a good mix. So now after making my biscuit, I am going to use a ice cream scoop and I'm just going to drop the biscuit right on top of our stew. Now go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees and bake for 15 minutes. I am so excited for this chicken and dumplings, guys. Take a look. Doesn't it look amazing? It is perfect for the cold winter days, guys. And I cannot wait any longer to take a bite. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. The dumplings are perfect for this recipe. It is delicious. Thank you so much for cooking with me today and I'll catch you guys later.